Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Cash Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about if Skyrim is dead, right? Is Skyrim, like, a dead game? The answer is no. I think some people might think otherwise, but let me explain why. There's something about Skyrim and Oblivion that really... You know, they're kind of intriguing. You ever notice how people just don't forget about what they do in these games? You ever notice that? Because I, I did. And what I noticed, and you're going to hear some clicking. It's just because I'm, I'm clicking around on the computer. But what I noticed is that Skyrim, I don't think, will ever die. Oblivion will never die. Right? Because... First of all, they're such amazing games that you really don't forget about them, right? Think of like Zelda Ocarina of Time. People still play these games. Mostly, I think Ocarina of Time for speedrunning, right? But I mean, there's still adventures in them. I've occasionally beaten, just played and beaten Ocarina of Time before, right? And Skyrim will not, you know, Skyrim will not die. Because first of all, I know this has been rambly, because I feel very passionate about this. Sometimes when you have passion behind something, it's very hard to describe it. Um, this is how much, even though I'm a Oblivion channel, I'm gonna back Skyrim up 100%. Skyrim isn't gonna die, first of all because of the mods that you can put into the game, alright? I think Skyrim compared to Oblivion has like it feels like 10 million more mods for it than Oblivion did. Like, for every one Oblivion mod, there seems to be a thousand Skyrim mods. And not only that, but Skyrim just, it has this thing where you want to come back to it every once in a while and try stuff that you have personally missed, right? You could put thousands of hours into the game and probably still have stuff to do. Combine that with mods and then people like me who've really only put hundred or two hundred hours into Skyrim and you still haven't beaten it right I mean today I streamed myself going through the Thieves Guild the parts of the Thieves Guild that I've never played before Skyrim is eight years old I've had it a copy of it on hand for eight years not actively playing it but I've had a copy of it and I just decided to come back to it and, you know, I'm live streaming, playing it with the Thieves Guild. I did the Thieves Guild. That's pretty cool. Skyrim has an immense amount of replay value, has an immense amount of stuff to do, and combine that with the mods. I mean, Sky Oblivion's coming out. Skywind is being created. Like, there's still mods to this day being made. There's a reason Skyrim keeps being re-released. And Bethesda said it's because people keep buying it. I think Skyrim... You know, especially with the rise of YouTube, remember Skyrim came out when YouTube was getting big, so that was a game where, like, I don't know about you guys, but Skyrim to me seems to, as, as a gamer, Skyrim and Minecraft are games that have always been a part of YouTube, right? And it's just like, it's always going to be there for me. You know, maybe in like 50 years it's going to die, 60 years, 100 years, for sure. But I think for the recent future... Elder Scrolls 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think Skyrim is still going to be popular. I mean, Oblivion's still popular. I mean, it's insane. These games are still po very popular, and I think as... I would say as the world gets more connected, right? Um, you're going to find people... You know, right now, for me, as a gamer, as an internet person, I meet people across the world, or not the world... Um, I have a friend who lives across the United States. I live West Coast, Pacific Northwest. He lives in the South, on the East Coast. Like, we should have never met, and we did. Via Skyrim, by the way, and YouTube. And so, I think that as the world, you know, as the, as, you know, the developed world, the underdeveloped places get more developed, they're gonna, and they're, they're you know, they add more gamers into the pool, it's gonna be like, hey, these games already exist. You guys, check out these games. They have great stories, right? How cool would it be as, as a 30-year-old, a 40-year-old, or a 50-year-old, right? 
you meet someone who just got into gaming like 10 years ago, right? You're 50 years old, always been a gamer. Someone who got into gaming maybe 10 years ago, you say, hey, there's this old game that came out 40 years ago called Skyrim. You never heard of it. And they're like, no, I've never heard of it. It's like, dude, I need to show you this game. How cool would that be? So these games that are super uber popular, you know, very impactful, they're going to stick around. They're going to be in our memories. And we're going to want to, we want to keep sharing them. I keep wanting to share Oblivion. I keep wanting to share Skyrim. I think a lot of other people think the same. So that's why I think Skyrim is not only not dead, but I don't think it is ever going to die in the foreseeable future. Of course, you know, everything is going to die. But as far as, like, how long you would expect it to last, I think it's going to outlive everyone's expectations. So thank you all so much for watching. This was a weird video. I didn't expect it to go in this direction. I had nothing prepared to say. I just talked. But if you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Skyrim. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.